Rays, building a team that would be a cup contender for the long run. It starts with the core guys. The team Lombardi took control of had a Slovenian kid named Kopitar who flashed talent that proved he could be an elite player and a gritty forward named Brown who had the right makeup to be the heart of the team. But it is fascinating to see how this Stanley Cup roster was built around them. A winning team is built from the goal out. This started with drafting a deep stable of net miners and patiently developing one he inherited, Jonathan Quick. The foundation of a team is on the blue line. Lombardi built his through the draft. Drew Dowdy, the number two overall pick in 2008, already a Norris nominee who seemed to have many more in his future. Slava Voina, whose emergence this year gave the Kings extra depth on defense, making it possible to part with Jack Johnson in exchange for the scoring help desperately needed in Jeff Carter. And Alec Martinez, often an unsung hero on the blue line. And this is supplemented by bringing in a core of veterans who can help install a winning atmosphere. That's Willie Mitchell and Rob Scuderi, as well as Matt Green, who came from Edmonton when Lombardi was able to turn the highly coveted Lubomir Vizhnowski into Green and center Jared Stoll. Because a successful team must rely on strength up the middle. So when Lombardi had the chance to seize another of the league's top centermen, he took it, getting Mike Richards out of Philadelphia for a couple of young players, Braden Chen and Wayne Simmons, and a draft pick. The draft picks are essential in this process, with Lombardi stockpiling them waiting to be used, but only at the appropriate time. As in the case of Dustin Penner, who found his peak performance at the right time, joining Carter and Richards to give the Kings the lethal second line, which makes them such a difficult matchup. On the top line, Justin Williams joined Brown and Kopitar. Lombardi snagged Williams in exchange for Patrick O'Sullivan and a second-round pick he had previously stashed away from Calgary. The remainder of the roster, the role players, are just as crucial and is pieced together just as meticulously. Drafting Trevor Lewis. Those are the Lewis, worst uniforms, Preds. Who all came into their own in 2012 and made big contributions to the team's identity. And acquisitions through free agency and trades when the time is right. Simone Gagne brought winning experience and a scoring touch. Brad Richardson adding more forward depth. And Colin Frazier, whose acquisition is another great representation of how this team was built. When Ryan Smith asked out of L.A. wanting to return home to Edmonton, Lombardi was in a tough spot, but getting Frazier in return for Smith has proved to be crucial for this run. Frazier has centered a fourth line that has been everything the Kings have needed. Energy, a momentum changer, and even a bit of scoring. This wasn't a team built overnight. The process seemed, at times, painful and even unclear. But all along, there was a plan. The loyalty to that plan and the discipline shown has been rewarded. For the first time in their history, the Kings can lift the cup because of the solid foundation put in place by Dean Lombardi. <laughs> Uh, well written uh, and uh, put together uh, producer Jack Wilson great job huge Kings fan